specifically say what the rules are. That one was the government of Manitoba site. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Life of the party? Are you the life of the party? No, you're the life of the party. <laughs> That's right over here. Right this one? Yeah. Ooh. You know what this reminds me of? Like the old school theater? We could have done our guess, but we both would have guessed zero. <laughs> this reminds me of when you go to uh, the Museum of Man and Nature. Oh. And you go into that little old timey little thing. You mean the planetarium? No, no, in the actual museum. Oh, okay. In the back of the museum, they have like an old and west days kind of themed area. And they have a little movie theater that plays black and white films. Do you want to sit in the back or in the middle? This is where I want to sit right here. Like this. <laughs> I just want to be like this. Kind of the I'm sitting on right now. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. <laughs> this is how we're watching the movie, Ash. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna lie back. <laughs> we just gotta put a tarp on the ground for ourselves. <laughs> Cause this is probably the grossest ground ever. Yeah. Okay. Hello. <laughs> you see that? Where are we gonna sit? Like, actually. It doesn't matter to me. I don't matter. I thought there'd be more people here. Well, well it's still We like can't half sit in hour. the middle because the, the aisle. Well, we could either sit in the back or oh. the middle. I don't think it's gonna be busy. Let's just sit like around here and I probably, we probably won't have anybody on either side of us. We'll see. If we do, we'll move. Unless you wanna try the back. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, look at the back. Look at that area. There's like a couch in, in, in front of us. Look at this. Isn't that a little derivative? Oh, yeah. We're going there. Oh. Okay. Fine? No. No. But look at how much space there is there. Yeah. We're going to go here for sure. That's it. Yeah. It's at like 1.4 million views. Looks like it's pretty good. Can we ask him to piato? Piato. Piato. We're learning Spanish. Questo, I mean, Italian. Questo piato. Questo spaghetti. Questo piato. Quello. Quello piato. What does quello piato mean? Uh, that coffee. No dish. Oh. Piato. Come on, you know this. Questo piatto means what? That dish. Yes. Questo piatto. Questo piatto. I want questo piatto. Oh, one. Here's one. Ready? Now, point of things you say, I want this dish or that one. You already did that, bitch. Questo el penne. Quello, um, uh, Lamborghini. <laughs> Questo el sexo. <laughs> Questo el yeso. <laughs> oh look, here's I. So how do you say I? Ready? Io. Io. Instead of learning I want. Instead of learning I want. I would like. I would like. Oh, never mind. We're done. People just finally walk into the theater. <laughs> I think we're going to stop now. We don't want people to yeah, hate us. Yeah. More than they already do. Probably do already. Yeah. Especially me. <laughs> no one hates her, but they all hate me. <laughs> okay, so we just got, came out of the movies and we're like in the ghetto and he... Oh yeah, we're straight in the ghetto. We went, we don't only go to different theaters, but we went to the super cheap one downtown because we, we just wanted to see a funny movie here for the experience. It's like the old time movie theaters. And, yeah. Uh, we come out to the car and I was hot earlier. I had the window down. We come out of the car. I'm like, oh my God, Ashley, the window. I thought the window was broken and I was worried about that. But it was just, we I, forgot to roll it out. We it down. For, we've been in there. <laughs> wait a second. We went in there a quarter to nine. Yeah. It's like 11. Yeah. We, and <laughs> everything is hours. intact in my car. And like, there's stuff all in the <laughs> trunk. This, that. My keys, my wallet sitting. My keys from my house, my wallet sitting here. <laughs> and nobody even walked by and grabbed everything. Oh my God. I'm so, that's that crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <sighs> Good luck. Yeah. All you, you guys all missed out on you would have got some free purses from Miss Philly. Seriously. <laughs> wow. It's our lucky day today, and I can't believe we did that. 
You did it. I didn't do it. It was your fault. <laughs> it's your son. You rolled down the window. I didn't even. I told you when we were driving. You here. rolled down the window. I was like, I'm cold, and you're like, I don't care, bitch. <laughs> you're gonna suffer. Blame it on me. You made me wait for three minutes outside of your place. <laughs> Oh, thank God it wasn't raining harder, though. Yeah. I thought it literally the window was smashed. I thought, you know what? When you first said that, I, was, I for a second, and then I remembered right away I left it open. Oh. I'm going to shut the truck. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Problem? Hmm? Without a negativity? Yeah, without a problem. And then I would, cons I would consider doing it. Dave, I taught Dave how to eat like a Filipino with his fork and rice. I mean, right. fork and spoon. You like this, fork and rice. You like this. Yeah. You push it on there, super effective. Lots of coverage. Boom, there you go. Holy shit. Thank you. That's it. You buy it in two parts. The full day call seem and best of all. Start at 10, finish at 6. Eight hours. It's an eight hour tour. Meeting. Isn't that cute? I meant that over there. <laughs> hey ho bags, it's Miss Philly. What's up, we're at Value Village. Um, yeah, Regent, first thing in the morning, I met up with a friend because uh, she was in the area. She's one of my best friends and I haven't hung, hung, hang, hung out with her for so long. But yeah, we're just gonna go inside the Regent Value Village and check out what they have because we haven't been here in a while. Open sesame. And I wasn't filming, which kind of sucked. They have this lug. It's like $25. This lug is $50. I don't know what that is. The fake Dior. I don't know what bag that is. This Dr. Scholl's moleskin. What the hell is that? Cushions, corns, and calluses, tender spots. Hmm. I need these for my feet because sometimes I get calluses and shit. Do they haul? Oh, they have OPIs. A bunch of OPIs for four bucks. That's not bad, actually. OPI, OPI, OPI. One rev wand. Okay, oh, there's like, there's a good deal. Don't know how long they've been sitting in there though. Did I say, ah, Deborah Littman? Those are expensive. I know Deborah Littman is super expensive. Body lotion. Um, fix men. Yep, yeah, most men need to be fixed. <laughs> One and only argon. Nothing interesting over there. These are so 2003. Remember when Von Dutch was like the brand? Paris Hilton rocked it. Ashton Kutcher. I remember that time. The trucker hats were like the biggest deal of all. Okay, let's go over here. <laughs> let's look over here and see if they have anything. Uh, the camera case. Thought this was a lug for a second. Mm. There's a lug. I'm gonna guess fifteen dollars. Oh nope. Okay. Still kind of pricey though. 
gonna have to look through the bags. Whoa, almost knocked myself over. We have a limit of $10 a bag that we need to spend. We could buy two, we could buy one, as long as it's $10 or less. David Jones. Why is this $2.49 for this dinky little thing? What does that say? Um, Fal Falcon? Last night I went to the movies with my trainer and Dave and we saw that Melissa McCarthy movie Life of the Party. It, do not watch it. I mean it's good but it was bad. It was a little bit. It ran long and it's not as funny. I mean I'm kind of, I mean when you see Melissa McCarthy do her funny things it's like she kind of repeats it a lot so I would skip it and I'm glad it was Cheap Tuesday. Seven bucks for that. Cheap Tuesday was worth watching it for that price, but. Hmm. Brand is this Moss and Man. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> but 25 bucks? No. I don't even think that's leather. What is this inside? Six nine nine for this. I'm a cheap cow hide. Another price in here, ten dollars. <laughs> Fossil? No. I haven't had... Before I used to have luck with Fossil, then I stopped having luck with Fossil and... Oh, it's just such a hit and miss. Nothing is catching my interest. Reselling wise. This is definitely Danier, you can tell. At that price, I cannot do it at that price. With all that scuffing like that. Yeah, it's dying. See, I've sold something similar like this before. And I didn't even make that good of a profit on it either. Oh well. But to buy for yourself, it's good. Jones Miller. This feels like leather. It looks like a backpack. Suede. Three ninety nine for a suede backpack. That's not bad. It's a cute backpack, but I don't know. It's not. 
the price isn't enough for me to warrant it. I mean, it's cute. But it would be like a discerning buyer buying this. made in China but it's like really well made too it's like suede and suede backpacks are kind of uh, difficult because it's like high maintenance you know there's a big Fendi spy bag That's way too expensive. It's cute though. And I've sold something like this Center? before. Yeah, and, and I know they started last night, but my vehicle, I couldn't, I, I, I didn't get there because my vehicle was around. But they just got two minutes to get the vehicle going to that. anything today here that's okay got some fake Ray-Ban over here for three bucks which normally I would pick up because I don't know lenses are pretty good I think they're fake though maybe we can find like a Ray-Ban case for it too I mean, fake Ray-Bans are, are fairly expensive, too. I can always find, like, Ray-Ban cases. They always have them by my house at that value of the lunch. I don't seem to have any here today. Lens crafter. They're usually like a dollar ninety-nine. Nope, none here, but I know there's one by my place. I'll pick these up. Maybe I can clean them up a bit. I love D and G watch. I don't know if it's authentic. But we can look at it. What's that other one over there? Um, that one is Kenneth Claw, fifty bucks. The DNG one isn't. It's <laughs> funny. Hi. Okay, you want to see some? Can I see that watch the third from the left? Hey guys, Miss Philly here. Um, okay, so we went thrifting. Wait, okay, <laughs> we went thrifting at Value Village on Regent. We only found two things, and they're okay. I mean, I need to stop buying watches because watches don't seem to sell for me. Like that Zelda watch hasn't sold, that Mickey Mouse watch hasn't sold, that 
Bulgari watch hasn't sold that Tiffany watch I'm keeping for myself. So um, I don't know why I got a watch, but it's Dolce & Gabbana. I mean, I don't mind keeping it for myself. At least this one is authentic. Tiffany, I'm not sure is authentic. Disney was authentic. Bulgari was not authentic, I don't think. But this DNG is super cute. Like, look at that. It says, I love DNG. It's in excellent condition. Uh, leather band, leather strap. It is snakeskin. I'm not too fond of snakeskin, but it does remind me of my nails a little bit. <laughs> so, but um, it just looks like that. I love DNG. And here, I will model for it. I will model it for you guys. It was $14.99. I had $2 off. So I really paid like $13 plus tax. So, I mean, they had like a Kenneth Cole watch priced at $50, yet the DNG is priced at $15. I don't, I don't get their pricing. Although DNG, I think DNG is pricier than Kenneth Cole, I think, but it is their, it is Dolce & Gabbana's, um, what do you call it, their affordable brand of DNG. So, I mean, it's, it's red and it gives like a pop of color, which is cute. These things slide around like that. So that's what it looks like. I think it's cute for like a pop of color. It says, I love D&G and you can tell the time. Not that you need to tell the time because you always have your phone, right? <laughs> anyway, I think it's cute. Like that's what it looks like. So it is a little bit youthful for me. I mean, I'm more, I'm, a mature mature lady so but you know sometimes a bitch want to act young okay young this bitch makes me young anyway i think it's cute whatever it is what it is italiano dolce gabbana will be in italy so yeah it's authentic i don't know how much this watch costs i would say maybe 130 150 maybe so for $15, yeah. I'm gonna try and replace one of the crystals because it's missing a crystal with like a dollar store crystal or maybe like one of these crystals off of my, like a small one off of my <laughs> or something. But yeah, it is what it is. Oh, I just wanted to show you what I got for lunch. I bought this um, small Greek salad. It was 30% off, so it was only like four bucks, okay, for this. I can make this into two meals, four bucks, discount, superstore. And then I got this, um, 30% off this so this is like three something no way or four bucks I don't know my math oh my trainer always like bugs me because I don't know my math this was this is a panko chicken sweet chili sauce with basmati rice yumsters I'll eat half of this for I haven't even had breakfast I had like one pork rind because my friend was like eat these pork rinds I'm like that's like pig skin gross and she's like it has no carbs I'm like okay and I have that's all I eat was one pork rind so I'm gonna eat half the salad for breakfast and then maybe i'll have this for lunch and then i don't know what else maybe some tuna for dinner i need to slim because i need to find a sexy wild boyfriend and we're going to paris we're going to italy so you know bitch needs to be slim for the mediterranean anyway <laughs> next i got these fake ray-bans i just thought they're really cool the ray-ban on the front is kind of like rubbing off but it still has it on the on the sides which is cool and fake ray-bans can cost you like freaking 20 dollars or so i know it's fake because i just know and this was only like three bucks and i'm going to get the case for it at value village by my house because i know they have some over there and there's like no scratches on the lenses so it needs to be cleaned a little bit but other than that it is cute as fuck wayfarers are like a classic style very like 80s tom cruise very corey hart you guys are probably too young to remember who those people are <laughs> but yeah so i mean even if i sell these like these fake ones with the with the sunglass case for like ten dollars i mean someone will buy that anyway that's all i got i hope you guys enjoyed this haul it was very quick i'm sorry it's a wham bam thank you ma'am but i'm gonna head over to the valley village by my place if i find anything i'll show you if i don't you'll just probably see the sunglass case anyway bitches bye okay so i didn't find any uh, uh ray-ban uh, eyeglass cases, but we found this Lancome, um, Lancome Le, Le Vie et Belle for $1.99. It's a super good price. Lancome's expensive and it's like half full, a little bit more than half. They also have this Beauty Rush from Victoria's Secret, three bucks. Just 
want to show you guys that. And that's all we really found. We didn't find anything else. Um, yeah, I was looking for a Ray-Ban eyeglass case, but they didn't have any. No Ray-Ban. Oh, wait, there's one right here. <laughs> it's three ninety nine. I've seen them for cheaper before, and I don't want to spend three ninety nine. Yeah, it's too expensive. Four bucks. I mean, it's a good option to have, but there's a Ralph Lauren one. But I've seen them at the Polo Park location for $1.99, so I think we'll just go there one day when we're in the area. Anyway, nothing left here. Bye. Okay, guys, so, yeah, thank you for joining me today. We didn't find a Ray-Ban uh, eyeglass case for $1.99 like we wanted, but that's okay. Um, we'll just go to the Polo Park location once we're in that area one day, because they always have it there for $1.99. Anyway, guys... Um, thank you for joining me thrifting. I'm happy with what I thrifted. It was just, you know, go with the flow kind of day. Found two items and yeah. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.